Hey everyone, this is Talks with Kenny, and here we, we I want to react to uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, tweet, and she posted a Twitter video, and I kind of want to react to this and kind of give you my thoughts on it. I believe she articulates perfectly what I've been saying about gun control laws, and that I honestly believe that the mental health issues are the primary reasons for mass shootings, and that even when they're detected ahead of time, we we're in the, like in our culture we celebrate mental illnesses now. It seems right. I'm not even going to get into whatever. I'm not trying to. My whole point is that there's a problem that the conservatives or people who don't think like the left are noticing. There's a pattern that we're noticing and no one wants to go down this path and try to resolve or find the, the root of this problem. It, with proper reasoning was saying, hey, if I notice a pattern consistently with these events that we want to stop happening, we should investigate. But no, it doesn't follow a certain political party's narrative. And because of that, they'll fight you tooth and nail not to go down that route. But instead, they want to ban the, the tool. The tool doesn't have a mind of its own. It's the person using it that is uh, essentially commands it, it, essentially is the cause of the, the problem. So instead of looking at the human, you want to ban the weapon, the gun, the tool. Crazy, right? So let's look. Let's get into this. Uh, I kind of just want to play a little bit of it. I'm not want to go too much into it. And I say this also as a, a, an adult that knows what it's like when my school was held hostage by another student with a gun, a very upset student. It's not the guns that are the issue. It's the severe mental illness and the breakdown in America with our morals and our values. My, my 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 question to everyone in the comment section if you want to um, discuss or give me your thoughts on it is what you guys think or believe is the cause of our moral and uh, breakdown of our values the progressives have taken over every institution not taken over but they have major influence in every institution to the point where they're putting out their uh, their ideology through school systems through Hollywood through social media they seem to have their hand in everything and they are just destroying tradition american tradition tradition traditional families in general they challenging the norm and trying to destroy what has worked but we're taught not to go along with that go with your feelings not with your reasoning and that's what i strongly push back against i feel like i think that the the left just likes to use emotional manipulation or gaslighting, as you will, to get you to agree with their worldview. And this is what's causing the decay in our morals and values in America, is that we're going along with this thought experiment that's based on emotion, not on reason, and we're reaping what we're sowing here. So get, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And this severe divide among all of us as Americans. And I want to add to this, is, and this is a story that I haven't even been able to share with my, my good colleagues here but just this weekend, now that I'm a member of Congress, you know, many of us, we get a lot of death threats, but one of my family members received a voicemail on their personal cell phone from a man saying very, very bad things about me and then saying, this is what I'm going to do to her. And he cocked a gun and shot it several times. This is the type of threats I get and it came with the threat of a gun but I tell you this, as a woman and a gun owner, I need... That's my biggest pet peeve, too, with this gun control stuff. They call the gun the great equalizer. You're making women more vulnerable with these gun laws, right? And there's some people, they want to ban all guns, right? And don't come out, we just want to ban the, the assault rifles. You don't even know what an assault rifle is. Like, most people who are, like, I, I'm standing on this. Most people who are advocate for gun controls have no idea how what are guns, how you classify guns, how to even categorize guns. They don't even know how their way around a gun, but they you you expect to have some type of knowledge to prevent more gun violence. Are you crazy? No way you don't. There's no way. Because if you had understood a gun, you would realize it's just a tool. It can't do anything on its own. You act like these guns just shoot off by accident and someone dies. That can happen, yes, but the probability is less likely. Because when someone goes out and purchases a gun, they respect that gun. They're like, hey, that gun is dangerous. Let me train my people, everyone in the house, that when they see this gun, how to, how to, how to properly handle it. But 
these liberals, these progressives, or these gun control advocates, their main their main source, my belief, their main motivation is the fact that they don't trust other people with that gun. Because maybe they don't trust themselves with a the gun. I don't know. But that's my main is is based off a of mistrust that hey, I don't trust my fellow American to do what's right or to handle a gun properly. So I'd rather he don't even have it at all. Letting these people who made the conscious choice, who are responsible with the guns, you wanna you want to punish them because a, a select a small few kill people or use it irresponsibly or use it for male intent. And I'm gonna kinda uh, sidetrack from the video. Why these defensive use of firearms should disarm Second Amendment skeptics, right? So these are people who like you know these gun control advocates. They don't believe that you should have a Second Amendment right. And I'm gonna stand on this. It's just because they believe that people who has guns are going to use it for malicious intent. They have a malicious intent with guns, and they don't want their rivals or their opposition to have that power because opposite of gun control advocates are gun rights advocates and they believe that oh these people are dangerous i don't want them have having weapons and that's the source that's their main motivation it's not they want to save lives it's not oh it's a, we care so much about other people it's a common exchange of value that you'll both get a win-win out of it that's the only fair interaction between human this is why capitalism works so well because it's voluntary it's not like you're mandated to do that because then you always guaranteed to have a revolution always guaranteed to have a revolt Right. So here's the, the studies. In fact, uh, according to a 2013 report by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, almost all nation studies of defensive gun uses have found that firearms are used in self-defense between 500,000 and 3 million times every year in the United States of America. What that tells you. So if you look up any gun death statistics or whatever, an additional independent analyst of the CDC own internal data on defense guns used indicate that firearms are used defensively about 1 million times a year dwarfing the number of deaths and injuries attributed to their criminal use that means accidental death uh cr like uh, cr criminals using it to kill their victims people use guns most americans in the united states of america use guns responsibly compared to people who use it irresponsibly and these gun control advocates they want to punish all the good people, all the people who use guns for what it was intended to, to ensure their own personal safety and the well-being of their family, all because a, a small percentage few did did, uh, did something bad with the guns. 4%, mass shooters, 4%. And you see Chicago, which has the strictest gun control laws, you see how rampant, how, how dangerous it is to be in that city because criminals don't respect laws. So passing another law is not going to do anything. Zero times 100 is still zero. So instead of going down this ineffective route, because this is your ideology, this is what you believe should be done, is not working. And there's a quote I remember seeing, and I'm going to end the video here. And the theory of, hey, more laws, more restrictions will reduce gun deaths. It won't. Because the criminals or, or people who are, who, are, who are going to use it for a malicious intent will find a way to, to act on that malicious intent. Regardless if it's with a gun, with a car, with a knife, the malicious intent is going to come out, out there somewhere. So if your own goal is, oh, I just want to reduce gun violence, no, that's not the answer. Because I'm standing on this. More guns equals less crime. There's a trade-off you make when you take away guns out of the equation. If, if, if a criminal knows there's a neighborhood that's a gun-free zone, this is what happened with the schools. This is why school shootings are becoming so rampant. They realize... Oh, in schools, there's no, there's a gun-free zone. That means everyone in there is sitting ducks. You're making those school uh, gun-free zones targets, target zones for these mass shootings. The same thing with the Green Greenwood Park uh, Mall situation in Indiana. It was a gun-free zone. The shooters like, oh, there's no one who had a gun. That means if the civilian didn't have his uh, his uh, his concealed carry on him, who knows? And it only took him 15 seconds to neutralize the threat. It's, it's kind of hard to go against the good guy with the gun argument. Like, gun control advocates think that that's not a valid argument, but it's consistently shown to what stops mass shootings. And these same people will use mass shootings to justify banning all guns, or at least assault rifles. But a Glock took out someone with an assault rifle. So what's your point? It doesn't matter about the... The, the guns don't matter at that point. All we're asking is, hey, give every law-abiding citizen, a law-abiding American... A chance and a right to defend themselves because in a day 
You can't prevent. You can't prevent crime. No one can. No law can prevent crime. It's just to establish. Is laws are only there to establish to society what is expected and what is uh, what is expected from every individual in society. And if you break it, the consequences of that action. That's that's all laws are there for. Laws are can't prevent crime. So the best you can do is hey, the people that we want to have guns, aka the good guys, allow them have access to their guns with no restrictions, no. Six six weeks, thirteen week practice. No, none of that. I buy it, I get it, and then I can go train on my own with the gun. So that way, when the, when it's time, I need to protect my family or my other fellow Americans. I can act on it. Not making me wait six weeks. I'm I'm a sitting duck for six weeks. So if anything happens in six weeks, come on, you're only punishing law abiding citizens for that, and that's not right. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I really appreciate it. I really like to hear from you guys. I welcome it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.